I'm not happy anymore. You ain't supposed to be happy. You're married. Are you sure you're okay? Mom, I'm okay. Thank God that's all that matters. I'm glad you feel that way. I just got kicked out of school. This guy hitchhiked into the small screen. Can you believe his luck? One fine day, he hitched a ride on the way to school whose driver happened to be a talent agent. In less than 10 hours, he is cast in a hit television show. You walked out. Lionel, how could you do that? Well, it was easy. I just took a couple of steps, turned a knob. <laughs> believe it or not, this black actor had no previous experience. But obviously, he was gifted. One night, and then the next thing you know, it'll be another night, and then another night. And then you know what you've got? Three nights? Not only was he a good actor, but he also helped to create one of the most iconic classic TV shows of the 1970s. He was actually the first African American on network television, and a lot of people don't know that. Let us find out more about this actor from the great 70s. I have one sister says, You are my father. He said, Well, I don't know. Did you realize Mike Evans had no acting experience when he started as Lionel Jefferson in Norman Lear's iconic TV show, All in the Family? Now, this is a break all young actors should get. Mike Evans was a drama major at Los Angeles City College. He was still attending drama school when he was cast as Archie Bunker's black next-door neighbor. He was only 21 years old. Initially, All in the Family creator Norman Lear preferred another actor. Still, producer John Rich convinced Norman to cast Mike Evans as he looked less threatening and would not steal too much limelight from other veteran lead actors on the show. Although he was not credited, Mike Evans continuously edited lines of All in the Family to sound more natural for a young black man. However, this experience was vital in creating his Good Times masterpiece with Eric Monte and Norman Lear in 1974. Good Times, one of the first comedies to feature mainly an African-American cast, lasted until 1979. However, show business is often ruthless. Even Mike Evans had his taste of it. Or it might be that he lost a role because of his mouth. When the Jeffersons, a spinoff of all in the Family was aired, Mike thought that Lionel Jefferson's character was not getting the screen time it deserved in the show. So, Mike decided to make it right during a Christmas party. According to Jimmy Walker, Mike approached Norman Lear and expressed his displeasure about how many lines he was getting in the show, The Jeffersons. It is crazy, he told Norman. I'm one of the Jeffersons and was the first to join your shows. But now you have new actors who came later and you are writing the show for them not me. Mike was intense. After all, he portrayed Lionel Jefferson's character and felt Norman Lear should write more about him in the script. Evans did not stop there. Jimmy Walker remembers that Evans told Norman Lear that he would leave the show otherwise. If I don't get more stuff on this show, I'm walking, man, Mike told Lear. Lear was very calm but didn't respond too kindly to Mike's demands. He asked Alan Horn, his accountant, who was standing close by, whether there would be any contractual issue with letting Mike Evans go. The accountant said, absolutely not. Norman Lear then turned and told Mike, okay, Michael, you're gone. Thanks. Mike was out of a job on the Jeffersons just like that. Was it why Mike Evans, who played the most famous of Jeffersons, Lionel Jefferson, didn't last more than a season in the show? Some say Mike was so busy with other work then, which made Norman Lear bring in Damon Evans to fill the role of Lionel Jefferson for the next four years. However, Mike returned to the Jeffersons from season six. His daughter, Carlina Evans, once spoke about her father's legacy during an interview. He was actually the first African-American on network television. And a lot of people don't know that. They put him on All in the Family as a joke. And so, but it worked. You figure of African-American on a bigot show, which was All in the Family. And so it was funny. It was supposed to be funny. And it obviously was funny, but it worked. Because shortly after that, he went on to do the spinoff of Jefferson's, which is the longest running sitcom with 27 seasons. A lot of people don't know that. Watching The Good Times, did you realize the show is loosely based on the real-life story of its creator, Mike Evans? While Good Times was a hit, the show took a heavy toll on its actors and writers. After the show ended in 1979, Mike Evans and his co-creator, Eric Monte, shifted away from the public eye. While Mike kept on with guest appearances in TV shows, Monte, on the other hand, developed an addiction and was discovered living in a Los Angeles homeless shelter in 2006. Later, Mike Evans moved away from acting and writing to focus on real estate investments investments and owned properties in California's Inland Empire. He obtained his real estate license in 1986. Michael Jones Evans was born to a wealthy family in Salisbury, North Carolina on November 3, 1949. His father, Theodore Evans Sr., was a dentist and his mother, Annie Sue Evans, was a teacher. He had one brother, 
Thomas Evans. Mike Evans attended Palmer Memorial Institute, a private school for upper-class young black Americans in Sedalia, North Carolina. His family moved to Los Angeles while Mike was young. He studied and graduated from Los Angeles High School. Here's an interesting fact. Though talented and already famous, Mike Evans did not want to act. Even in his mid-20s, he was thinking about retiring from acting. Mike Evans stayed true to his word on wanting to quit acting. While briefly appearing in the Jefferson's eighth and last seasons, he stopped acting in other shows when in 1977, his heart wasn't in it. Maybe he simply wanted to live far away from the bunkers. Mike Evans met Helena Jefferson in 1974. They dated for a while and married on January 10, 1976. Mike had two children, one with Helena and another daughter with a military woman. The daughters are Tammy and Carlina Evans. Carlina Evans was born in 1981. His wife, Helena Jefferson, passed away on September 11, 2002 due to breast cancer. Mike Evans' relationship with his two daughters has been strained from the beginning as Mike and his wife were separated. Carlina, his eldest daughter later said in an interview that her mother and grandmother were the people who raised her in Pennsylvania and Mike did not acknowledge his daughters. It was a very unique story. My grandmother took care of me for a period of time. My mother, then when I went back with my mom and she remarried and then they had my sister and so uh, just, just very unique because I was all over the place. My father, you know, he's always been my father but he wasn't always a good father and he would actually, to, to contention on the year whether he died uh, to claim me or whatnot. Later in his life, Mike lived an isolated life. When Carlina visited Mike once, he lived off-grid in the California desert in a house he built himself. He had his own water, electricity, and farm animals, she recalled. Carlina kept referring to Mike as a lousy father, and even recalled an incident where Mike publicly debated his involvement in their birth. Things were so extreme that Mike took a paternity test when she was 13, which showed that Mike was her biological father. But things didn't improve after the test, and Mike willfully ignored his daughters. The last memory Carlina had of her father was a phone call where Mike continued to express his disbelief that he was their father, and even said Mike's brother may have been behind it all. Not at all. The last time that I talked to him, literally, I was 21 years old, and at that time is when he told me, this is rather amazing, but his last, you know, couple words, I guess, our last conversation was when he told me he didn't know if I was even his father. And I said, I have blood tests that says you are my father. He said, well, I don't know. Maybe you should consider my brother. I said, what? Who's your brother? Nobody even knows who your brother is. This is clearly some stuff that took place. But Mike is helping his daughters from above, as Carlina claimed 50% creator rights of the show Good Times. Carlina finally gave up on trying to connect with her father and focused on her charitable work with Kidsplosion USA, which helps underprivileged children with their education. Her younger sister, Tammy, prefers to stay out of the limelight and lives in the desert of California, not far away from where her father once lived. Mike Evans passed away four years after the death of his wife on December 14, 2006, at his mother's residence in 29 Palms, California. He was 57 years old. He had throat cancer, and the announcement of his death was released a week later. Mike Evans' net worth is estimated at $3 million.